Spear fishing is a form of fishing that is highly targeted and it differs from normal fishing in that it allows the threat actors to go and gather additional intelligence from various social media sources such as Facebook, LinkedIn, publicly accessible websites for a company to be able to develop campaigns to be able to gather intelligence. And this intelligence may be uh, sensitive company data, it may be credit card data, or it may be used to uh, force the users to be able to click on malicious links. Sure, so, so some good examples of spear phishing are really uh, where there is a sense of urgency that's created within an email that may not necessarily be normal. So for example, you may get an email from a supplier that says, we need you to pay this invoice as soon as possible to avoid account closure, or there may be where someone is impersonating another person within your organization, or they may use some of the intelligence that they gather to act like they are a person that you may know, or a person that knows someone that knows you that needs help. And so what they'll do is they'll try to redirect you to a malicious website and then uh, allow you to download malicious software, which then they use to create a backdoor into your system and be able to go and do the things that hackers do. Spear phishing is extremely effective because what it does is every human likes to help other people. So threat actors will take advantage of that human nature to cause a sense of urgency and the want to help other people. So that's why it's so, so effective. So as I described previously, hackers will go and gather intelligence and do reconnaissance on their targets and they'll gather these data and utilize them to create campaigns that are targeted at specific individuals or uh, a specific department within a company to be able to target their message to make it sound more believable and thus uh, coax their end users to go and do what they want them to do, whether that be wire transfer money, go to a website to go log into a bank, account uh, or other activities that will allow them to gather additional intelligence that they need to complete their mission. The best countermeasure is training. The last line of defense to protect against spear phishing is training. So companies should incorporate training as part of a regular training regimen to ensure that their end users understand basic cybersecurity topics and uh, training is really the best way. The second way that you can uh, combat this is by using uh, DMARC, which goes and compares the email address against a known email address. So if someone is trying to spoof an email, then it will be uh, redirected into a spam folder or sent to the security administrator for further review. Uh, you can also incorporate different types of technologies on your firewall, uh, have all kinds of email filtering that's in place. Uh, but it's extremely uh, important to make sure that you incorporate the training because unlike regular phishing attacks, which may be extremely broad in nature and come across as spam, spear phishing is not utilized in that method. So there's traditional phishing, which is, uh, as I described, basically sending out a wide net of emails to people to try to see who's going to take the bait. Uh, thus, it's called phishing. Uh, there's also vishing where people will call in and talk to people and try to gather intelligence through social engineering tactics to be able to, to garner additional uh, data that they're looking for. Another method is called smishing, which utilizes SMS messages where a person might say, hey, my name is Bob, I'm you know, the CEO, I'm in a meeting right now, I can't talk, but I need you to go and do something, right? And that something typically is wire money, um, go to this site, et cetera. Uh, and then the, you know, the last one is, is whaling. So whaling is 
where someone is attempting to impersonate a CEO of a company or another high ranking official within a company to create a sense of urgency to uh, have an end user go and, and do something that uh, typically they would not do in the course of their duty. Phishing is a huge concern because it is so highly successful. If you look at the recent FBI data statistics, more than $2 billion worth of corporate monies were lost last year alone. So it's a big problem for companies, both small and large. So they will go through publicly available and accessible data points, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, the company website to determine the appropriate target. They may spend weeks doing intelligence and doing data scraping to determine which people or group of people might be great targets and easily accessible. Training is the best defense against phishing. The second is to go and incorporate a third party email scanning and filtering system within your email environments. Also to make sure that you have all of your uh, systems up to date, that you encrypt sensitive data for any type of websites that incur financial implications, make sure that you have multi-factor authentication in place so that if you do have a person that does click on a malicious link and provide credentials that they're not able to, uh, the threat actor is not able to uh, get into those accounts because of the protection from multi-factor authentication.